and welcome back to another video. Today we will I'll be taking a look at the Naturalist 2.0 update. Um oh big you on in there. So they've added apparently they've added a bunch of uh, new uh, animals so, so let's uh, take a look into it. Because there's not been many new add-ons added to the marketplace this week that I find particularly interesting. Um I'm actually glad I uh, uh, recorded yesterday's video um, when I did because it is going to help ex you know, make it so that there's not a slump of videos. Anyway, I do have uh, some video ideas that I can do to record that. Ah, that isn't just Minecraft Bed Arcade on uh, videos, believe it or not. There's one I, that I had like just bouncing around in, the, in my mind for years at this point, I think. Because it's just like, it's something I really want to get out of my head. But I've just never really had a good time to do it. Because, yeah. Right, so. Uh, yeah, I don't need to be in survival for this. Uh, hopefully it's going to... Oh, did I not remove that? I'm pretty sure I removed that. What? Add-ons. Active. Oh yeah, Beyond Survival, right there. There we go. Uh, let's remove that, because that's just going to cause problems. I've not cleaned up since the last... <laughs> uh. Oh, there we go. Well, there might be a problem there, but I guess it wasn't food in. So yeah, um... Apparently, it's... Uh, added a bunch of new animals so we can take a look at those new animals and see what they have to offer there you go he's gone now well I'm bother us anymore I'm gonna go over here where it's not totally destroyed I really do need to get clean up what happened over here I haven't okay yeah, the natural stad on made a bit of a mess of the world last video. Uh well last review. So yeah, um definitely yeah. I still have the book for Beyond Survival. Because it's just a bit of a book. Anyway, um Natural Here we go, Naturalist Info Book. Is there an is it is it not an update? Update no, there's no naturalist update book. Yeah, so this is going to be annoying. So, introduction, alligator. Oh, wait, I think uh, the alligator got a new drop. With it being teeth. I think the teeth have a new drop. But I could be wrong. Uh, wrong. It's, bit, it's been a while since I've done this. So if I misremember something, it's, you know, possible. Uh, yeah, they were in. That's nah, not new. That's not new. That's not new. Not new. Capybaras are old. Clams are old. Coyotes are old. Crabs are old. Crows and ravens are old. Deers are old. Dragonflies are old, I think. Ducks are old. I oh, like they duck eggs. Neat. Uh, elephants are old, but they now have new drops in uh, the hide and flesh. Uh, eagles are old. Fennec foxes are old, but they got new drops with like the uh, meat morsel. Okay. Fireflies are old. I'm pretty sure flamingos are old. Giraffes are old. Geese are old. Hamsters are old. Hippos are old. Jellyfish are old, small jellyfish are old, kiwis are old, lions are old, lizards are old, mammoths are old, but they have new drops with like the uh, meat and fat, I think. Monkeys are old, mush, octopus, orca, ostrich, otter, owl, penguin, piranha, raccoon. Stingray, Rhino, Scorpion, Scorpion, Shark, Sloth, Snail. Oh, you can put snails in buckets. 
Uh, I think that was in the last. Anyway. Uh, snakes. Oh, they have new drops. They drop teeth, morsels, and raw rabbit upon death. Squirrels are old, but they got new drops. Termites are old, I think. Tigers are old with new drops. Tortoises are old with no drops. Toucans are old with no drops. Tree frogs are old, I'm pretty sure. Vultures are old with zebras. And I think anglerfish might be new. I'm not quite sure. Uh, glowstone dust and raw anglerfish. Uh, it can be bucketed and spawn in deep ocean and attack small tropical fish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's new. I think badgers are new. Badgers are found near cave entrances in forest biomes. They're active at night and return to the cave during the day. They're known for being aggressive towards piglin. Piglins for some reason. Badgers are neither breedable nor tameable. Upon death, they drop fair and the bushmeat, which is bushmeat is new. Blobfish is new. Blobfish are passive mobs that are spawn in deep ocean. Their diet consists of crabs and snails. Blobfish inflate when above Y level 30 or in a bucket. Uh, they are neither breedable nor tameable. Upon death, they drop raw blobfish. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Ah, cavefish are new. Uh, they're just like little fishes that spawn in caves. Uh, there's eels, which are new. They spawn in ocean. Yeah. In the ocean, and electric eels have a chance to spawn in the deep oceans. They will attack players who get too close to them. Electric eels will stun players that so you can carry them in buckets. They drop raw eel when killed. Flying fish is new. Flying fish runs on the surface of the ocean, so you can put them in a bucket. Giant isopod. Uh, giant isopods are shy mobs that uh, can be found in deep oceans. When they uh, detect a player, they will uh, try to swim away. You can carry them in a bucket. Giant isopods won't drop items upon death. And you've got the giant salamander. Giant salamanders spawn in the caves near water. They may get hungry from any uh, fish that the player holds in their hands. Upon death, giant salamanders drop lizard tails. I want to take a look at this giant salamander. Some giant salamander. Oh, it's not that big. I thought it would have been bigger. Hey, little guy. Double. And you got the gorilla, which uh, spawn in uh, the jungle. Neutral mobs spawn in jungles. They but will become aggressive if you if you are near their babies, which can be found riding on the backs of, of adults. Gorillas drop fear and melon slices upon death. Mm. Oh, ill. Gorilla. Ah, oh, this one spawned with a baby on this one. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that is cute. Then we have the iguana. Uh, they're just passive mobs that inhabit jungle biomes. You can also find them as women in their bodies of water. They drop iguanas and iguana tails upon death. Kangaroos! Uh, kangaroos can be found in savanna biomes and often uh, transport to their babies in their pouches. Players uh, can get to the uh, into pouches for a short period of time if uh, no babies are in there. Kangaroos drop bush meat and hide upon them. Um, can kangaroo. It, oh, it's adorable with his baby in his pouch. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, uh, what do we? Uh, the mole. Moles are passive mobs that can be found in the, the dark forest and plains. Moles will burrow into the ground, similar to how armadillos hide. 
You can breed them with beetles that, upon their kill, when they die, they drop fair and dirt. So, some mole. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, you get his yield fellow with his big claws and yield beats. Oh, hello. If I go into game mode zero, he'll get zero. Are you gonna yeah, there we go, and he's underground now. Oh, that's adorable. I like this guy. Oh, what did I do? Oh. Hello? What? Oh, I accidentally activated RTX. I don't even know how I managed to do that. Oh, there we go. Is yet a uh, colon button. Now we have platypi, platypuses, platypus. Platypus fit spawn near water and will uh, hunt out a fish while swimming. They are neutral and they will uh, defend themselves when uh, attacked. Someone clap, clap, platypus. Oh, I really wish I could give him a little hand and I could call him Perry, Perry, Perry the platypus. Perry. The platypus? Perry the platypus, I can do a good uh, doofing smits. And, and rats now spawn. Rats are uh, passive mobs that uh, you can find in the most biomes during the night. Uh, they act like hamsters and have a similar diet to rabbits. You uh, can tame them with uh, bread, carrots, or and apples. Rats drop morsel and mo meat morsels and fur. And you have the red panda. Red pandas are passive shy animals that uh, can be found in the uh, bamboo forest. You can tame them by feeding. Them. Excuse me, by feeding them pa bamboo. Red pandas will uh, drop bush meat to end the fear upon death. Seals! Ah, oh, someone said that. Seal. Oh, do you look at you flutter flopping about? Oh, cute! Oh, that's adorable. He doesn't like the platypus for some reason. Ah. Uh -huh. Anyway, seals are passive, uh, semi-aquatic uh, creatures found in the frozen ocean biomes. Their favourite food is fish. Seals uh, drop fish and uh, they hide when killed. Slugs. Slugs are passive mobs that uh, crawl around on the ground. Jumping on a slug's uh, back will uh, make you bounce. On death, they drop slime balls. Starfish. Starfish are passive animals that have to live in the ocean. Uh, besides, a uh, cold uh, and the frozen and the, yeah, okay so every ocean that's not cold or frozen and hang out on the ocean floor you can carry them in a bucket oh that's, that's cool oh. uh, he had so many buckets uh starfish starfish you can get buckets for slugs here's a starfish Oh, if I put in star, there you go, starfish buckets. Uh, let's get a blue one. Make it a little hole. Oh. There you go. Keep the starfish. You don't do much for the cute. Anyway, it'd be good decoration if you do it if you've got like an aquatic themed base. Oh, let's get rid of them real quick because of that. Oh, they do drop some, and they drop moss. They drop starfish, red starfish, and blue starfish. Don't know what you can do with the starfish. Well, if I put starfish back, can you cook it? Hmm, you can get them as items, but strawberry dart. You can cook it. Mm. 
And then you got the turkey, he goes, uh, turkeys live in the groups in uh, all the types of forests besides jungle, they will run away if play is near. You can breed them with seeds, turkeys drop for drumsticks. They've got walrus, walrus is spawn in frozen oceans, often lying around the down there, they're sometimes swimming. They're neutral, so uh, try not to provoke them or get near their babies. Okay, let's remember that. Um, walrus. Walrus. It's dirty, walrus. Yeah, Creature Nursery, that was in the last update, and that was also in the last update. Shellstone's old, and that's everything new, apparently, by the of it. Now, there was that, uh, hide, I think it was called, yeah, hide. I want to see what you can craft using the hide, so... Let's go to the crafting table. In survival. Let's see, so you can craft it into leather, one to two, and nothing else. Okay. I mean, it's another source of leather, I guess, but not really the most useful thing in the world. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And, uh, oh wait, yeah, basically, yeah, good update, just expanded upon what was already good, because it was already, you know, it was a good add-on in my opinion, the first place, and just expanded upon what it already had, and yeah, I think it uh, is definitely, you know, good, like, you know, good add-on, highly recommend uh, if you uh, want to, you know, yeah, if you want to add uh, more, you know, creatures into your world uh, that are mainly ambient. Um, but yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And oh yeah, and I also like that they added like drops to all the uh, mobs. So I, it is cool having just like mobs I just said to be like ambient like the little birds, but it is also nice to have them have like a useful drop as well. So from me and Lily here, we'll say uh, have a good day. See you guys in the next video. And bye-bye.